There's an entire house hidden back here? Hurry up. You better make sure you don't offend the lady in any way. Got it? Come in. I've returned, my lady. I'm sorry that I left everything for you to take care of. So how's she doing? She'll make a full recovery. But her husband had to be locked up. He's restrained in the basement. Isn't it difficult treating humans? With all that blood, I mean. Is that what you think? She chokes back her own drool when she treats a human? Cause demons can't control themselves? Don't do that. Treating humans is not all that difficult, actually. At least, for me. But it is different for other demons. I have modified my body's physiology quite considerably. And I've removed Kibutsuji's curse. What curse? And what kind of changes? Why don't we go somewhere we can sit down and talk? I need to hear your side of the story as well. I see. Now I understand what happened. In that case, I think I can certainly be of help to you. But first, I would like to continue where I left off, and tell you a bit more about ourselves. As I said earlier, we are demons. However, I made several adjustments to our bodies so we could continue to live without harming any human beings. As a result, we can survive on just a small amount of human blood. Wait, blood? So you're saying... I understand if you find it distasteful, but I buy it from those in poverty. I tell them I'll use it for transfusions. But of course, I never take enough blood to impair anyone. No wonder. That would explain why neither one of them has the same scent as a normal demon. And Yushiro needs even less blood than I do, since I'm the one who turned him into a demon. You turned him? How? How did I do it? Well, as far as anyone knows, Kibutsuji is the only one who can create demons. And that is more or less accurate. I tried for over 200 years, and still Yushiro was my only successful transformation. What? I'm sorry, I should clarify. Creating more demons is not one of my goals. I only attempt to do so when necessary on the terminally ill or injured, and only when they won't otherwise survive. And even in those cases, I always ask in advance if they would truly prefer to live on as a demon. Her scent is pure. No signs of deception. I think I can trust her. Miss Tamayo, once someone becomes a demon, is there a way to turn them back again? A way to make a demon human again? There is. <laughs> Please, tell me how! There's always some form of medicine or aid, no matter the wound or ailment. That said, I don't yet know how to turn a demon back into a human. But I promise we will find a way. We are quite dedicated to establishing such a treatment. The first step involves studying the blood of a number of different demons. Which means I have two favors to ask you. First, I'd like permission to study your sister's blood. Second, we need more samples. I'd like you to retrieve them from demons that have Kibutsuji's blood running strong through their veins. Nezuko's condition is extremely rare, perhaps entirely unique. I understand she was asleep for two years. I believe her body changed during that time. In most cases, that long without food, neither human flesh nor the blood of an animal, would undoubtedly cause any demon to grow violent. However, against all odds, Nezuko is showing none of those signs. That miracle could be the key to finding a solution. Nezuko... But my second request is not a simple one. When I say demons with Kibutsuji's blood, I mean demons with powers like those of Kibutsuji himself. Extracting blood from that kind of demon won't be easy. So, what do you think? 
Are these requests acceptable, if not pleasant? If it's really the only way, then I'll do it. Besides... What? You'll be able to see the arrow's movements! So hurry up and cut their heads off! Oh, I had no idea he could do this. Thank you! Let's finish this. Follow my, my lead, game. Yahaba. Finish this. Follow my lead, Yahaba. Not bad for an amateur. <laughs> now we're talking! Oh. Can you believe our luck? We've found Tamayo the fugitive. She'll make quite a souvenir. Hey, Yahaba. You think four heads will be enough for us to take home? Too many. We only need two. Demon Slayer and the fugitive. We have no use for the others. Huh. Well, I'm still gonna have some fun before we take the Demon Slayer's head. Let's get that woman's head first. Now! Die! Nezuko... Can she handle this? If Nezuko keeps one of them busy, it will be easier to focus on the other one. But... No, this isn't the time to be worrying. We just have to do it. Nezuko, you go after one of them, and I'll defeat the other. You just have to keep them distracted until then. <laughs> You're going to fight me on your own? How foolish. <laughs> My turn. 
Tamari will rip a hole through your body. This is nothing but Nezuko's own strength. She has been able to make herself rapidly grow more powerful without eating anything else whatsoever. No, I got the boot. Unnecessary damage right out there, but we managed to defeat the demon. <laughs> Why, you little Lady Tomio, she's actually managing to push her back. Yes, but both being demons, at this rate, they'll be at a stalemate until dawn breaks. I must do something. 